What is insufficient glandular tissue? So this is a condition that some women have where their body, for whatever reason, doesn't produce as much of the breast tissue that are the glands that actually make the milk. So how do you know whether you have it? There are some clues through your exam that your OB or midwife might be able to identify. Typically, the breasts seem to be more tubular shaped, like there's just kind of longer, and that's because there's less tissue around and they may be more widely spaced apart. I could even put a whole hand on your chest in between your breasts. But having that does not necessarily mean that you do have not enough tissue or not enough glandular tissue to make enough milk. But it's something to be aware of if you do have that so that you can be monitored a little bit more closely, get a little extra help when that baby comes, maybe want to reach out to somebody prenatally to help you along to maximize your chances of success and, and help you to make as much milk as you can. And one thing to also remember is that if you have insufficient glandular tissue or you have had problems with production in the past, depending on what the reason is, with every pregnancy during pregnancy, particularly during those last few months of pregnancy, your body is doing the things it needs to do to make your breast make more milk. And so things are happening to your breast during a second or a third or a fourth pregnancy that can hopefully help your body make even more milk than you did the last pregnancy. So if you struggled with one baby, you may not struggle with the next. That doesn't mean you shouldn't kind of have help in the beginning to help you along, but you may actually have a better chance of making more milk with each subsequent pregnancy. So that's something to be aware of. And again, reach out if you're at risk, if you know that you have risk from what your breasts look like or from having an experience in the past. Now, that being said, having small breasts does not mean that you have insufficient glandular tissue. And having large breasts does not mean that you don't have insufficient glandular tissue. Really breast size in and of itself, it's not a good indicator of what your production is going to be like. So just something to be aware of and reach out for help if you need it. Bye-bye.